In today's video, I'm going to be talking about five things I wish I knew sooner in PAL world. I really hope you enjoy, but let's jump straight into it right now. So the first thing I wish I knew sooner in PAL world is that you can rotate these dungeon bosses if you want to. As you can see, this is a Nox, but if I go back a couple of rooms and then head back into that boss room, you're going to see that the boss will change each time I go in. It's a Woolly Pop this time, and the next time I go in, it's a Mazarina, and that's the one that I captured in this run. Hopefully this helps you out a little bit, because now you're going to get a little bit more of a choice when you go into these dungeons. The next thing I wish I knew sooner is that you can use your death chest to store all your perishables like your milk, your meat, your berries and all that other stuff that runs out of time. So what you want to do, pick a place where it's easy accessible, then you want to respawn. And then when you respawn at your pal box, you want to go back over to your death chest and then take everything out individually. Don't take it out all at once because it'll disappear. And as you can see here, all the timers are completely frozen. Now the obvious thing here to do is just re-equip all your equipment because you don't want to be running around with nothing on, let's face it. So just to prove this works, I'm taking out these stir fry veggies and as you can see, the timer is going down in my inventory. But then when I put it back into the other one, into this death chest, as you can see, it will be frozen solid. Right there. So as you can see, it's frozen at 59, 59. That will stay like that for the foreseeable future. And one last little thing, don't forget to sort it so it's all nice and neat at the top. Okay, so this one I think a lot of people already know about, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So it involves your carry weight. As you can see here, I've got 9,999 ore. If I carry that, I'm not getting far with it. So what you want to do is pop it back in the chest. And by the way, this only works for keyboard and mouse users. I genuinely don't think this works on controller. So if you're not on controller, I do apologize. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to hold our left mouse button on the ore. And then we can tab out and then we can move freely then and store it wherever we need to in another chest. And of course, this does work if you're picking stuff off the floor as well. You just need a storage container to put it in first if you're liking what you see so far why not consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that like button because it does help the algorithm out a lot the next thing i wish you knew sooner is how valuable nails are so as you probably know you can make these in your workbench or you can make them on the conveyor belts as well once you've got all your nails make your way to a merchant i've already got one in my base so that's even better so what if i try and sell them this ingot now that's worth 20 gold but if i try and sell them one nail that's worth 160 gold so you can see the markup on that is crazy so when you sell them all you can see i'm getting 1440 gold that is absolutely mad for that amount of nails this totally feels like a glitch but it's literally just an oversight by the developers and the last thing i wish i knew sooner is this place right here fisherman's point if you make your way over here you'll find two separate merchants here the first one has a lot of valuable items such as schematics armor weapons and ammunition so what you could do is literally stock up on nails come over here sell them to these merchants and then just stock up on a load of good stuff over here and this last guy here is a pal merchant as you can see as well he's got some pretty strong ones some level 28 some level 30s and one final tip if you come over to this little podium there'll be a lith monk effigy there i've already got it so it's not there so there you have it guys that is my five things i wish i knew sooner in pal world let me know what you think of this one down below don't forget to leave a like don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and i will We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.